But this is your election command center. Still staying on this matter. Coming up next, civil society is demanding the revocation of the, of the law that permits mining in forest reserves. They insist it must go if the fight against illegal mining must be won. That is coming up next here on Ghana Tonight. And it formed a prominent part of the thought leadership and the public forum that we had earlier today with, with support from the Nature and Development Foundation, former Chief Executive Officer of the Minerals Commission, Tony Aubin, has called for the repeal of this LI-2462 that allows for mining in forest reserves. He joined other guest speakers and panelists at the Thought Leadership earlier today, organized by Media General in partnership with Nature and Development Foundation, who resolved that a state of emergency should be declared and called placing a moratorium on all forms of mining. The forest, where well, they were mining in the forest, but uh, no, me me we have taken it out. I think it will bring confidence. Otherwise, nobody is confident that we are able to resolve this. When when you talk to you, they say, member of parliament for Asante Achim North and the Apia Kubi said the fight against Galamse should be devoid of politics. Let all political leaders come together and make a statement. And let's hold them to it. Thank you very much. The president is going. But the people who are coming after him, what will they do? On the part of former legal advisor to Operation Vanguard and legal practitioner, Dr. Jamal Tonzwa, there is no political will and commitment to fight the canker. Why did we not use satellite technology? Because we didn't tell the politicians we know what should be done. We just told them that whole national security, we, 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 we have an institution, we put them there, and they gave it to us. We must tell them that we know what we want. We must be data-driven and evidence-based in this new approach. Panelists acknowledge the call for a state of emergency to deal with Galamse. Who in his right mind, who has the interest of Ghanaians at heart, will think of passing LI-2462? It's perverse. My sadness goes to... The fact that my children are in their fifties, my grandchildren are in their in their thirties, and it's for them that I weep, because if you run Ghana like this, Ghana will be no more. We are killing Ghana. If certain people are not complicit, there's no way Galamse will happen. That is a fact. If you go to some of the communities, you see the police mining is happening right behind them in Potrasse. The community is so agitated. They want to stop mining in Densu River. The police in that district is not ready to support them. This well, there's more of this on 3news.com. Make some time and visit 3news.com. And this leads us to Manifesto Check on your election command center. Well, we stayed the steam on this illegal mining issue and LI2462 is Dennis's focus on manifesto check. What do we have? Well, it's actually the focus of the CSOs who are into this piece, advocating for the revocation of what has now become part of the law of this country. Mm -hmm. They say it is one of the things that need to be taken out if the fight against Galamse must be won. And their argument is pretty simple. This particular law now allows some dispensation to be made for mining in the forest reserves. So they are saying that for the government to have taken this step, it means that what we are now seeing now, by way of a lot of licenses being granted and permits for mining companies to go into forest reserves, is as a result of this particular law, for which reason they are advocating that it be revoked as soon as possible. They call it an infamous law, and in their view, it's bad law. Mm. So that was basically the call for the, of the CSOs today, which was roundly supported by almost all the stakeholders who were at the forum today that we did. But let's take a look at what really is contained in this particular law for which the CSOs are opposed to it. That's right. So that is the, 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 the name of the regulation. It says Environmental Protection, Mining and Forest Reserves Regulations 2022, LI 2462. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the application, what it means is that how is this law going to be applied what is of interest to us this evening, for which reason the CSOs in this space are opposed to it, is the fact that now when you look at the regulation 1.1, it reads that these regulations apply to mining activities in forest reserve. Their view is that there should not be a way that we even want to contemplate mining in forest reserves. True. For which reason we now, have, we now 
want to have regulations that will regulate that space. For mm. them, mining in forest reserves is a no-no for them. Mm. Now, when you continue to look at the purpose of the regulation itself, and that is regulation two, and let's look at regulation 2A, that for the purpose of these regulations, I mean, the purpose of these regulations is to A, provide for the environmental management of mining activities in forest reserves through. Now for them, they don't even want to go further. Mm -hmm. Once it's about mining in forest reserves. Just don't think don't about know. it. Yes, mm -hmm. and as part of the discussions, I mean, the, especially for the, the CSOs themselves, they have observed that this law was passed in 2022. And then thereafter, they noticed that there was a surge in the grant of permits for mining companies to enter forest reserves. So what we are seeing today by way of invasion of the forest reserves, in their view, is as a result of this particular ally. Now, the other area which um, they have a strong view against is the fact that it talks about pro prohibited areas. Now, when you read this on the face of it, it appears to have protected the significant biodiversity areas or the forest reserves and all that. However, there's a certain regulation that appears to have undone this protection. Right. So when you look at Regulation 3.1, mm -hmm. it says that a person shall not issue a license or permit to any person to undertake mining activity, including ex exploration activity, in the following areas. Now, it lists them, including a, a globally significant bio biodiversity area. This is where we have our forest reserves fall under. That's right. A protected provenance area, an institution, it goes on and on and on. All these things are supposed to be protected. You supposed cannot, to be? Yes. But are and, they protected? That's what well, so now when you look at the exception that has been created under Regulation 2 and 3.2, it says that despite paragraph A, that is the list that has been provided here, of sub-regulation 1, the president may, subject to Article 268 of the Constitution, give approval in writing to mining company to undertake mining activity in a globally significant biodiversity area in the national interest. Actually. Mind you, I explained that where we have the globally significant biodiversity area, that is where our forest reserves fall under. True. Now, this provision says that the president may give approval subject to Article 286. Now, Article 286 basically talks about the parliamentary approval for grant of concessions to companies and all that. Mm. So they are saying that a president may do so. Now, the argument of the CSOs is that once this has been provided, and we know that the power that the president has is an executive power, a president who has some majority in parliament can always come under this and deplete our forest reserves. Right. So that is one of the reasons for which they think this particular law is bad law. In their mm. view, if inroads must be made in the fight against Galamsey, then this particular ally has to be revoked. So in a sense, that is it. I mean, this call has been on the table for quite a while now. Now the question is, did the political parties listen to them? Have they had engagement with these CSOs? Have these found their way into their manifestos? Well, when you look at the manifestos of the key political parties, you would find that they make the case that there will be some um, kind of reviews of the laws. Right. But no specific mention has been uh, made to the effect that they repeal this LI particular. Exactly. Hmm. But of course, there are promises that the laws or the mining regime or the legal framework of the mining um, will be reviewed. As to whether that will include the revocation of this ally, that has not been mentioned expressly by either the NDC, the MPP, Movement for Change, New Force, and all, all the others. other parties. Thank you so much. The verdict, as always. It's with the people. It's with the people. And uh, we'll go for this quick break. When we're back, we're getting to issues of labor. Stay with us.